to be, uh, what was it? Wait, what was my number two? It was the shit, I know that much. Hi guys! Welcome to my top five favorite games of all time. Number five would have to be Hearthstone or the umbrella of trading card games. I played a lot of trading card games when I would go to the local comic card store like Lord of the Rings card game, Magic the Gathering, Magi Nation. I mean there were so many great card games back then. And Hearthstone I, I know is a more simplified version but as of late I just think that that game has been taking up a lot of my time because I find it so fun. It has a lot of more RNG to it but it's still great. I love it. So that one's definitely going to have to be my number five. For number four I'm going to give that to the Zelda franchise. But yeah, I'd have to give it to Zelda. I played a lot of Ocarina of Time. I played a lot of Zelda on my Game Boy. I love how difficult it was. Like each each boss took figuring out as to like what you last picked up and you get lost. I get lost a lot of the times on the map because I just forget where I used to like where I went or you know, back then there wasn't that many strategy guides. So it really took quite a bit of effort to remember and to find your way through the levels. So Zelda definitely just for overall encompassing difficulty and strategy and just, I mean, it's freaking Zelda. My number three game is Black and White on the PC. Not the second one, but the first one. The second one they tried to make it more RTS based, but I, I really liked the first one. There were a lot of glitches getting towards the end of it, but it was just such an amazing game. I mean, Peter Molyneux's better creations before Fable, um, I really loved the creating like a creature and raising them to be a god and eventually you could go online with PvP with your creature to find others and you would have to influence towns and you could either be good or evil. I just thought Black and White was such a great game. Definitely played that so many hours so Black and White, yeah, good stuff. My number two has to go to EverQuest. I played that game so much and I had arguments in my family because this was back in the um, late 90s where we only had two PCs at the time and my siblings, everyone in my family played it and it was such a pain in the butt because like everyone, you know, like it's MMORPG so you want to put as many hours as you can to building your character and I would just yell and argue with my dad about how like my sister has played two hours so obviously it's my turn and we'd go around PvPing together and there was amazing things like when you would go and do a quest for you see Quillmane running around and you'd be like go get your level 60 character and come help me kill Quillmane and you'd have to kite around characters I mean it was just such an amazing MMORPG it was so hard too you would have to wait half hour for boat rides you'd have to run everywhere you have to get you'd have to get your skills up by swimming into a wall in the water and things that were just ridiculous and it didn't really have an easy questing system the questing system was kind of silly so yeah I, I really feel like EverQuest was a lot of fun um, didn't really get into EverQuest 2 I started playing more WoW but yeah I, I really loved EverQuest I, it's just the, it had so many feels in it and PvP in that game was awesome like if somebody was in your area and you didn't want them to be there to steal your certain loot I mean you could even sell items on eBay for profit and yeah, if somebody was in your area for PvP, you just go and team up with your, you know, for me, my family, we team up and we go kill them and get them out of our area. So yeah, I loved EverQuest. And then, my uno, number uno, number one, I know this may seem strange because I love FPS, I love all genres, but my number one game that I just can't, couldn't get enough of was Ninja Gaiden on the original Xbox. I love Ryu Hayabusa, he's my hubby, still waiting for him to accept that proposal. Um, but yeah, I loved Ninja Gaiden. It had the difficulty, it had the graphics for the time were mind-blowing. It had tournaments and DLC. Uh, this was before they kind of regularly charged for those things. But if you won the tournament and had the highest karma score, you were eligible to head out to Japan and win like an engraved sword. I mean, it was amazing the kind of stuff that they had for Ninja Gaiden and it was just a beautiful game and I loved like a lot of people couldn't even get past the first boss and I love games that are challenging and difficult uh, not to mention have sexy ninjas as the main character so that's my top five games of all time let me know what your top five games are and I also have a few honorable mentions because I couldn't squeeze them all into one or it was very difficult to pick top five but my honorable mentions would have to be Azure Dreams, Destruction Derby, Conquer's Bad Fur Day Rainbow Six Three played so many clan matches on that game. Um, I mean, there's so many. I, I seriously, I can't keep track. But yeah, 
Those are my top favorite games. Let me know what your top five games are of all time in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Getting a fresh mag.